Hey, is it possible to change your desktop background programmatically? That means through a website. And in theory, if that was possible, wouldn't giving that website address to all of Twitter and all of your own Discord be wildly irresponsible and lead to a lot of chaos? Well, that's precisely what I did. There's a website that is annoy.joshtriedcoding.com, which probably will not be live once this video goes live, because once I posted that on Twitter, so many people went over and tried it out, it actually crashed everything, which was pretty bad. But essentially, that website lets you change my desktop background in real time with feedback if it actually worked, so you can always see the live desktop for yourself. You see, here's how this works. So first off, we want to receive inputs on a website and that is pretty straightforward. We all know how to do this, so I'm not gonna bore you with it. That input is then sent to an API route. In my case, that's gonna be Next.js. And the reason is I do not want to expose my actual connection, but instead I want to hide it between a Next.js API route that we're sending the input to. And then once the input reaches that API endpoint from Next.js, it is then sent to an express server that I'm locally hosting on my PC. And if you're wondering how did I connect my PC to the web, I'm using something called ngrog to do that. And then comes the interesting part. Once that data reaches my server, you can see I am first generating an image from that. Because having an image from the text is the mandatory requirement to actually display it on the desktop. I use a library for that, generate the image, and then it could not be simpler with Node.js to set an image as your desktop background. There's a package for that that does exactly that. And that's what I'm using to set that as my desktop wallpaper. That's the entire logic we need for a web app to communicate with our local PC to set our desktop wallpapers to whatever bullshit people come up with. There's also a get route. So when people join the app, the, the website that is hosted with Next.js on Vercel, they can see the current status of the desktop. We're just keeping track of that in memory so everybody sees what the current status is. So once I had posted the link on Twitter, people found it pretty interesting because to be honest, I think the idea is pretty cool, changing someone else's background programmatically through a website while staying completely anonymous. I could see a bunch of requests coming in and eventually that unfortunately led to my application completely crashing. There was a 502 bad gateway status code that later resulted in a 504 status code and everything was completely down. So later on, I unfortunately had to completely delete the tweet even though people were really liking the idea just so my poor PC doesn't get spammed even more. It really is trying its hardest, but it was red hot. No, I'm just kidding. It, it wasn't, but I decided to only leave it in the Discord. It's probably for the better. So let's address the elephant in the room. What did people actually say? You know, what do people say if they're completely anonymous with no repercussions whatsoever, no matter what they write? They're probably going to be very nice and kind and respectful, right? Well, um... Okay, anyways, but there, uh, there was a dude greeting us from Croatia, there was a person saying he loved me, which I really appreciated, and there was a lot of positive feedback as well, besides these kind of weird comments and some, you know, what you expect from a completely anonymous desktop wallpaper changing web application. So while this was really cool, I do have to always host this on my PC for it to work and then forward my local PC to the actual internet. And that's kind of a bummer, so I'm probably gonna take it offline for now and sunset it, but I might just provide the code for you if enough people are interested. I really wouldn't know why you would be interested in random ass people from the internet changing your desktop wallpaper, but if you are, I can provide that to you. I really hope you enjoyed the video, that's it for me, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.